Hey guys, this is Jay. Today we are going to see how to design this super cool poster in Photoshop. Before getting started, download the project file, link in the description. With the project file, it will be much easier for you to follow this tutorial. So download the project file. In case if you want that completely designed .psd file means hit the like button. Soon after reaching 100 likes, I'll give you the download link. Fine, let's get started. First go to the folder you downloaded, open the project PhD inside Photoshop. This one is a design ready file. You can straight away start designing it. First, we are going to drop in our C background. For that, go to the project file. Open the C background inside Photoshop. Now drag and drop the image inside our canvas. Now enable free transform tool, control T and resize it. I'll settle this one. Next, we're going to delete certain portion of the image. For that, select Marquee Tool, this one. Now select 45% of our canvas. Now hit Delete. There you go. Next, we're going to create Brightness Contrast Adjustment Layer. Now right click and clip mask the layer. I'm going to keep the brightness as 33 and contrast as 12. Fine. Next, we're going to add C floor image for that. Go to the project file. Open the C floor image inside Photoshop. Drag and drop the image inside our canvas. Make sure to place the image inside water group. This one. Now we enable free transform tool and resize the image. Once we are done, next we are going to add layer masking adjustment layer. This one. Now select black color in color picker. Enable brush tool. Select soft round brush. This one. Now I'm going to mask the top part so that the image blends with the background image neatly. Just erase the top part alone a little bit. Fine. Now I'm going to reduce the opacity down to 27%. Fine. Next, we are going to add curves adjustment layer. This one. Now right click and clip master layer. Now select blue curve. Now I'm going to Move the bottom point a little bit up and the top point a little bit up. Fine. Next, we are going to add C tide image. Go to the project file, open the tide stock image inside Photoshop, drag and drop the image inside of a canvas. Make sure to place it inside water group. Now, enable free transform tool and adjust it a little bit. Now I'm going to reduce the opacity to 70% and I'll place it on the top perfectly. Now I'll roll back the opacity to 100%. Now add layer mask. Now again go to color picker and select black color. Enable brush tool, select soft round brush. Now I'm going to mask the bottom part so that it blends with the background image neatly. There you go. Once you're done, next we're going to drop in our statue model image. Go to the project file, open the model image inside Photoshop. Drag and drop the image inside our canvas. Now enable free transform tool, control T and resize it. I'll place it here. Fine. Once you're done, I'm going to create a duplicate copy using keyboard shortcut Ctrl J. 
we're going to use the second stock image later as if now just disable them now we'll roll back to the first one this image now change the blending mode to luminosity so that we will get such kind of effect next we're going to add layer mask now again go to the color picker select black color enable brush tool I'm going to select hard round brush now just max the top part while masking the top part if you make mistake like so all you got to do is select white color unmask the parts and continue your process fine once you are done now enable the second stock image now again add layer mask to this stock image now go to color picker select black color enable the brush tool select hard round brush now we are going to mask the bottom part Once you're done, next we're going to edit the bottom part. Now roll back to the first copy, select the mask layer. Now go to color picker, select black color. I'm going to select soft round brush this time. Now reduce the size and mask the bottom part a little bit so that it blends with the background image neatly. There you go. Once you're done, roll back to the second copy. This one. Now create a curves adjustment layer. Right click and clip as the layer. Select blue curve. Now I'm going to move the bottom point a little bit up. We are not going to disturb the top point. There you go. Next we're going to add what splash stock image. For that go to the project file. Open the water splash stock image inside Photoshop. Drag and drop the image inside of a canvas. Place it right above the tied image. Now we enable free transform tool control T. We're going to use wrap technique for that right click. Enable wrap. Now I'm going to wrap the image in a way it blends with the background image neatly. Once you're done, next we are going to add background sky image. For that, go to the project file, open the sky stock image inside Photoshop, drag and drop the image inside our canvas. Make sure to place it inside mountains folder. Now we enable free transform tool, control T, and resize it. Fine, I'll settle with this one. Next, we are going to add mountains on both sides. For that, go to the project file, open the mountain stock image inside Photoshop. Actually, we are not going to use the entire stock image. We are going to use just the mountain image. For that, we are going to select the particular portion alone. Now, select the marquee tool, this one. Select the mountain part alone. Now, hit Ctrl C to do it manually. Go to edit and select copy. Now, roll back to our canvas. Hit Ctrl V in case you want to do manually. Go to Edit, click Paste. Fine. Now enable Free Transform Tool Ctrl T and resize the stock image. Adjust the mountain size to your likings. 
Once you're done, next we're going to add layer mask. Now go to color picker, select black color. I'm going to select soft round brush, this one. Now mask the parts we don't want. If you want, you can use all round brush. Fine. Once you're done, next we're going to add mountain image on right side. Now again, go to the stock image, select the mountain portion. Copy the stock image. Paste it inside our canvas. Now enable free transform tool, control T and resize the image. Now I'm going to Flip the image horizontally, place it on the right side. Again, we are going to use the same masking technique. Add layer masking adjustment. Go to color picker, select black color. I'm going to select hard round brush, this one. Now mask the parts we don't want. Fine, once you're done, next we're going to add few adjustment layers to our mountain shock images. Now select the first layer, add vibrance adjustment layer, right click and clip master layer. Now I'm going to increase the vibrance around 50 and saturation to 61 to make it a little bit vibrant and colorful. Next we're going to create curves adjustment layer, right click and clip master layer. Now I'm going to move the blue curve bottom point a little bit up and the top point a little bit up I'm going to do the very same thing for green fine next we are going to repeat the very same step for the right side mountain create a vibrance adjustment layer right click and clip mask the layer here I'm going with vibrance as 58 saturation as 39 next create a curves adjustment layer Clip master layer, select blue curve. Now move the top and bottom points a little bit up and play with the green color settings. Fine, once you're done, next we are going to drop in our fish and birds stock image. For that, select the respective group. Now go to the project file. Now open the dolphin image inside our canvas, sorry inside photoshop. Now drag and drop the image inside our canvas. Now enable free transform tool and resize the image. I'll give a little rotation. I'll place it on bottom left side. Next I'm going to change the blending mode to luminosity. Fine. Next, we are going to add fish stock image. Go to the project file, open the fish stock image inside Photoshop. Drag and drop the image inside our canvas. We are going to repeat the very same step. Enable free transform tool and resize the image. Next, I'm going to change the blending mode to luminosity. Adjust the position a little bit. Next, I'm going to create a duplicate copy using keyboard shortcut Ctrl J. Now enable free transform tool and resize the image. I'll place it at the bottom. Next, we are going to repeat the very same step and we are going to create few more duplicate copies. I'm going to place two more duplicate copies on right side. Enable free transform tool. Flip it horizontally. Fine. Once you're done, next we're going to add our bird stock image. Go to the project file. Open the bird stock image inside Photoshop. Drag and drop the stock image inside our canvas. Again, enable free transform tool. Resize the image. I'll place it here. 
Now I'm going to reduce the opacity a little bit down to 90% so that it blends with the background. Now we are going to add curves adjustment layer, right click and clip mask the layer. Now select blue. I'm going to move the bottom point a little bit up and top point a little bit up. There you go. Next we are going to drop in another bird stock image. Go to the project file. Open bird 2 stock image inside Photoshop. Yes, we are going to repeat the very same step. Resize the stock image by using free transform tool. Ctrl T. Reduce the opacity to 90%. Rasterize the layer. Next, I'm going to add curves adjustment layer. Right click and clip mask the layer. Select blue curve, move the top and bottom point a little bit up. Now, our design is almost ready. As a final step, we are going to merge all our layer into a single layer. For that, we are going to use keyboard shortcut Shift Alt Ctrl E. Now, go to filter, select camera raw filter. There I'm going to reduce the temperature a little bit, minus 12, something like that. I'm going to play with clarity and texture. Next I'll increase the vibrance and saturations a little bit. Next select the presets. There in mini act effect I'm going to select heavy. In sharpening I'm going to select light. Once you're done, click OK. There you go. Now our poster is ready. So that's it guys. I hope this video is useful to you. Don't forget to hit the like button for more tutorials. Subscribe to my channel. And please do check out my other videos. Thanks for watching. Take care.